Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you've already heard over across social media, I'm sure by now, Otto Ado has named his uh, uh, players uh, for the World Cup qualifier between Ghana and Mali and then Central African Republic subsequently in Kumasi. Otto Ado was quite a bit in this uh, presser that we had and like quite some interesting questions we asked. But before we delve into the explanations for the omission of some players and inclusion of others, uh, we look at the squad that has been named. As usual, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Click on that notification bell to get more updates. Let's dive right into this squad here called by Ottawa. And it's usually the same guys that we're expecting. And uh, Lauren Satizigi is the goalkeeper, uh, number one goalkeeper since the last time Ottawa was in charge. Uh, then uh, Joseph Wolakot and Frederick Asari. No place uh, for Dreams FC goalkeeper, who, I, in my opinion, did a great job in the CAF uh, uh, Confederations Cup that led Dreams all the way to the semi final. But uh, Otto said that. Uh, he believes Frederick Asari is the best choice for this one. He doesn't really want to go into why some players are not here and focus on those who are already here. For the defenders, we have Gideon Mensa, Ebenezer Anan, Mohamed Salisu, Tariq Lamte, Ali Duseidu, Alexander Jiku, Abdul Momen, and Jerome Opoku. On the omission of uh, the guy who is in form right now, Abdul Babaraman, uh, coach Otto had expressed his disappointment in us. Well, when I say us, the media and the fans as well. In a game at Kumase, Baba Rahman was booed, and unfortunately, it affected him a lot and his family. He took it a bit personal, and uh, despite talks with him, Baba Rahman has decided not to come and play for Ghana Black Stars, and that is what he has decided. Otto tried to convince him, talks and what we say about players if it's about tactics if it's about that there's no issue with that but then we go a step further and then go on to talk about personal stuff insulting the players and all that and that brings it down that brings their spirits down and, and that is why we do not have are probably the best left back now after Babara man in the squad for the midfielders, Mohamed Kudus, Elisha Ousu, who won uh, with uh, AJ Oxe and back in the French Liga, Edmond Addo, uh, Thomas Pate, Ibrahim Suleimana, who I think is getting his very first call up, uh, Salis Abdul Samed, not a great season for him, and Nest Nuama and Abu Francis. So these are our midfielders, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they are played together for Ottawa and the Black Stars. Osman uh, Bukhari, Abdul Fatah Wisaku, Antoine Semenyon, Jordan Ayu, Ibrahim Osman. Brendan Thomas Asante, first caller for him, and Kamal Din Suleimana back in the Premier League with Southampton make up the forwards here. So that is your Black Star squad that is going to uh, play versus Mali and Central African Republic. Ghana are looking uh, to get back on top in the World Cup qualifiers. And as you already know, the World Cup qualifiers uh, players, uh, the team that will be there in the top at the end of the groupings, uh, at the end of the qualifiers will go direct into the World Cup. Nine countries will be entitled for a place from Africa here into the World Cup and we hope that Ghana will make it. Now the definite omission here that for everyone talking is Andrea. You uh, coach Otuado says never say never when asked whether this is the end of the road for Andrea. You never say never but he had lengthy conversation with the Ghana Black Stars captain. Thomas Party will be in charge in his stead. He also talked about the injured players, uh, long-term injuries to Joseph Edu and Daniel uh, Kofi Tre also. He talked about them. Uh, he also talked about uh, the injury uh, to Inyaki Williams, which has rendered him out of the squad. He talked about other injured players who I have put their names here and the reason for that here for you. They will not be available. Unfortunately, that we don't have the full strength squad but that is what we have to work with and uh, hopefully they do get the job done. Otuado talked about what he defined as success and I asked him that question talking about that. He says success is him 
getting the team to play well. He cannot guarantee wins. No coach can do that because uh, uh, the goal line uh, by inches, the bar and all that, those small, small details can prevent you from winning games despite playing so well. So he cannot for sure promise all that, but he'll ensure that success at the end of his tenure is him and the team playing good football, football that probably we will enjoy uh, watching but in my opinion it's not about that it's about the results it also has to uh, get the results that will see us probably at the world cup or long-term results that will see us getting close to winning a trophy or winning a trophy once again in my opinion his prime target should be results and yeah he cannot promise good results all the time uh, but yeah in my opinion Otto, you might probably have to revise that and uh, get us results instead of uh, going play good football if you play good football we are always losing i don't think anyone will be happy overall it was a great press conference we got our questions in uh, the training session as some of you wanted to know will not be open all the time a decision has not been made yet on the training session so Otto will communicate that to us uh, when training will be done and uh, when we'll be allowed to cover it and bring you updates on players in there thomas party is back in the team two debutants in the black star squad well let me know your thoughts in the comments box on the black star squad that is going to face mali and central african republic it's going to be an interesting uh, few weeks as otto and the boys will come in legon sports complex he talked about why the training will be behind closed doors and it was because of him running through the tactics throughout the seven six days but there will be some open training sessions that you the fans and as the journalists can cover so that has been it for today the black star squad to face mali and central african republic your thoughts in the comments box on it can ghana beat the two teams to retain top spots what will happen for mali and ghana central african republic and ghana i'll see you guys in the next one have a great week